Hey folks, Positive Paul here on a Tuesday evening, November 20th, 2018. Well, everybody's out there celebrating the Mexican Revolution. Tonight, we're going to talk about the rapture. And we all want to hear about that, right? Well, I have one of my YouTube folk that I pay attention to. Her name is the Judean Miss Shayla. Very smart woman, but she drives me crazy with her Christian bashing. And she came up with the big whopper the other day about no uh, rapture being mentioned in the Bible. So I want to draw a stark contrast to maybe show her and anybody else that would like to change their mind. We can uh, certainly look in Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verse 52 with the in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump. No coincidence there, right? But my favorite one is Thessalonians 1, chapter 3, verse 14 through 18. And we start off with, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. God does not leave behind any believers. There are millions, tens of millions of faithful believers waiting right now. We're all going to be joined together soon. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that which we are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Amen. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And here we go, folks, get ready. Verse 17, gotta look for those patterns of seven. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Well, I really like to hear that. And one little hang-up here, guys and gals, is that there is actually a danger of unbelief, not believing in that Jesus is coming back and he is coming soon. Now, very difficult to get through these reptoids with all this, but we know those that do believe expect this to happen soon as we are in end times, folks. So I would like to say, for those that don't believe in the rapture or Christianity, please be reminded of the fact that there's a danger of unbelief. And we can get a little inkling of that found in Hebrews chapter 3, where... It speaks about Jesus being more worthy than Moses. Not that Moses wasn't worthy. A very faithful servant. But Jesus' mission right now takes precedent. And the danger of unbelief is, though, when the Israelites were wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, being provided for by the Most High, being given resources, signs to reinforce their faith, they provoked the Lord. They had ants in their pants complaining all the time. And this is what I think about, that they were there 40 years. I'm thinking, like, if I'm there one week, I'm going to be mumbling to myself. So we really have to really remember of what our brothers and sisters went through. So they complained. The Lord was not happy about that, and many of them perished in the wilderness. But the ones that hung in there tried to stay away from sin, 
tried to help each other out, not lose their faith. They continued on to the promised land. The promised land for us folks right now is heaven. To get out of this nightmare that we seem to find ourselves in, at least some of us. But Thessalonians folks, I want everybody to know that that's just a little bit of what the rapture is going to be about. So I hope everybody's well and keep up the good fight. And until next time, peace.